Okay, ready? First of all, give your name and tell, tell what you got. Uh, Lieutenant Dan Norris, Montgomery County Sheriff's Office. This afternoon around 2.40 in the afternoon, we received a call about a disturbance at a residence just around the corner here in the Woodlands. Um, what I can tell you is there has been an active SWAT scene uh, since a little after that time as deputies first arrived. I can tell you that the suspect inside the home has surrendered and he's now in custody. Outside of that, that's about all I can tell you at this point. And as soon as I have more information, I can brief you on that. But it is a SWAT scene that has been active. The suspect has recently come outside and surrendered to uh, law enforcement. We have our SWAT team here. We have the crisis negotiation team here, the major crime team, and of course our, our patrol division is here helping. We have cordoned off quite an area around the, uh, around the neighborhood. Uh, many residents are not being allowed in because of the active nature of the scene. And as soon as I can brief you with more information, I will. What area are we getting sealed off right now? I mean, as far as streets or whatever, as far as something? Well, everything, everything from where this intersection is around to the side is, uh, is sealed off. Okay. So residents can only come into this area and go to the area that's oh, to, the, to the left here. And, uh, but, so essentially the Brant, Brantdale roadway is open and being able to curve to the left. Okay, what initiated this walk? Uh, it was a disturbance. Uh, I'm not, a, I don't have all the facts concerning the disturbance at this time. Uh, again, as soon as I have all the information and can give you accurate information, I'll, I'll give you everything I have. Anything on the suspect, age, anything like that? I have nothing on that. Can you tell us what the robot was for? No, I can't. I don't know. Can you tell us if anybody died? I can't tell you that. Thank you. We set. You good back there? All right. Yeah, okay. we're good. Okay. What do you got? Okay. Lieutenant Dan Norris, Montgomery County Sheriff's Office. Uh, this afternoon around 2.40 uh, in the afternoon, the Sheriff's Office received an initial phone call uh, about a disturbance at a residence uh, just behind me on Dale Forest Drive. We actually received a, two different calls. We received one call from the uh, suspect's girlfriend, which had escaped from the home and went into a local business just down the road. And she had uh, asked for help and called the sheriff's office. About that time, we received another call about a disturbance here. Now, I don't know who made that call. The investigators are still uh, trying, trying to piece the timeline together from this af uh, the afternoon. What I can tell you is when deputies arrived, they found that there was a woman in the downstairs that we believe at this time may have been shot in the head and she was dead in the downstairs part of the home. We believe that the suspect, which was the dead woman's uh, son, was inside the home armed with a handgun. They weren't initially positive that that, that, that was a fact, but they were able to determine that as the afternoon went, went on. Uh, we did summon, uh, deputy summoned additional help in the form of the SWAT team, in the form of crisis negotiations, uh, crisis negotiations team, and major crimes. The suspect, or let me back up, the crisis negotiation team was able to initiate contact with the suspect, and through dialogue, uh, the suspect did surrender uh, sometime after 5 o'clock p.m. Uh, no one else was injured. Uh, currently, the scene is being investigated, of course, by uh, crime scene investigators and our major crimes unit trying to piece the pieces together throughout the afternoon on exactly what happened. But we do have one person in custody. Uh, he, is, he has been arrested for murder and uh, one person that's dead inside the home. The, the suspect that's in custody is Stuart J. McGirt. M-C-G-U-I-R-T. He was born in December 1975. And we do know that the person that is dead on the scene is his mother, Annie Christine McGirt, 1954. I don't have a month of her birth. Is uh, What we can say at this time is the investigation is ongoing uh, as a murder investigation. One person's in custody and one person uh, is dead on the scene. Uh, so, so the girlfriend called in. Why did the girlfriend call? Well, the girlfriend was able to uh, escape from the home. I can't, I can't explain to you what that means because, again, it's, it's still active and we're trying to piece some things together. But she was able to leave the home. 
and she went to a business nearby, walked in off the street, and she asked for help. From there, the phone calls were initiated to the sheriff's office, and about the same time, they did receive another call about a concern of a possible disturbance here at this address. I don't have who called that. Uh, from, I don't know if he's a neighbor, I don't know if he's a family member, but again, as the investigation unfolds, I'm sure that information will become more more you know what address on here? The address, no, I'm sorry, I think it, but I believe it's number 17, Dell Forest. I know it's here, just around the corner uh, from where we're standing. What about animal control? What were they called out for? You know, I don't have that information yet. I do know animal control was here. I um, believe that there were a couple of dogs at the residence. I don't know if they were in the backyard or where they were. Uh, so I don't have accurate information on that. Any history on this home or that's uh, suspect before? Too early for me to give you an answer. I heard he was recently at TDCJ. Have you heard that? Yes, I, I'm sorry, I have no information on the suspect other than his name okay. and his date of birth and that he's in custody for murder. How do you spell his first and last name? Stuart, S-T-U-A-R-T is how I have it. Stuart, and then McGirt? McGirt, M-C-G-U-I-R-T. I believe his middle name is James, but please be careful using that. I'm not certain on it. Oh, okay. Her name again is what? James. I believe it's James. J is in for James. Her name again. Her, name's, her name is Annie, A-N-N-E. -N -N -E. Christine, with a C, McGirt, born in 1954. And that's G-U-R-I-T-M-C-G-U-R-I-T. M-C-G-U-I-R-T is how I said Annie, A-N-N-E. Just Ann, or are they pronouncing Annie? I'm pronouncing it Annie, since it has an E on it. Okay. D-O-B's again, I'm sorry. 